Hello my uh, tech AV audio video friends. Uh, today we're going to take a look at this Thor Petite IR modulator. What this thing will do is it will convert a an HDMI source to a coax source, coax coax source. And uh, so if you're uh, watching TV with an antenna, it's great for something like that. Even if you have cable, add a channel on your local area, share your satellite receiver to different rooms throughout your house. Really cool device, has an IR extender. So what that means is you can uh, hook up uh, an adapter to this and uh, put an IR receiver in a different room and it will communicate with this. And this device here will transmit to your uh, an IR blaster and transmit to a different uh, device. And you can control uh, an IR cable box, satellite, satellite box, or a um, streaming media device uh, with this. Really cool. Included with this is a DC power. Uh, power. It has the uh, NMS, your network uh, cable. So to configure this, you just simply have to plug in your local area network, type in the IP address that will appear on, on the front screen here, and you can uh, uh, do your configuring. It's not that hard to configure. It's just a, sip, uh, just a few little simple set the channel that you want. You can do it all without even connecting it. I just found it was a little bit of annoying going through all the manuals, um, but I should probably go through a quick tutorial on how to do that too, as well. So Thor Broadcast has generously donated a sample for this modulator. So you can go to their website at thorbroadcast.com, one of these, or perhaps a modulator video distribution system that might fit more your needs. So go to HDMI RF modulators. So if you click on their HDMI RF modulators, there is several products on display. I actually have a few of these items. I have the Thor Broadcast uh, Petite, which is a small version of, of this this version. This one actually has, it's, it's pretty good deal actually. This one here, it's, uh, it's 469. This one actually has more features and is cheaper than the um, close to $469 uh, item. Compact HDMI compliant modulator with loop out and R so you can change the source set top box from a different one via the television. However, you can still use this modulator with any HDMI source like Blu-ray, Apple TV, or OKU, PC, etc. You can connect any amount of tissue you want to the RF output and view your programs over your existing coax network in up to ERP resolution. You can also inject an RF input into the modulator, like an antenna, and then add your HDMI source product to inject into the ATSC channel lineup on a vacant frequency. This added accessibility along with the IR and digital link passing through your coax network will make adding programs and adjusting the channel on your STB an easy-to-use solution. Furthermore, the modulator also has an HDMI loop out so if you have your unit station near a TV and use the IR to control a second TV, the first TV can be fed with the HDMI input for monitoring or viewing. There is an LCD display with easy to use buttons, and of course, there is enriched input so you can add your modulator to the LAN and control it through a WEVWI. This unit also has all the major RF modulation standards built in, can joyob, ATSC, ISDBT, and DBT. Tags, HDMI over sale, XQM modulator. Features. HDMI input HDCP compliant works with any HDMI device. HDMI luba for convenient monitoring on a local TV. Even at NMS port for control and setup. Our F output power is heard above attenuation, enough for distributing HDTV video to TV over the existing coax cable network. Our F power could be controlled over the network via NMS group proprietary. MPEG video encoding. AC audio encoding, MPEG, and AC options. Video bitrate 5 umps can manage over the network. Supports NEC ATV or F agile channels from 50 erms, channels 2 minus 135. Support output resolutions up to er, input 720 or 1080. All right, so go enter here. So if you hit enter, you'll see the IP address. Uh, so if you want to set that up, I actually had to configure that. Main TS config, trade major channel, major channel 54, program name, which I changed in the minor channel 1, TSID 1. So major channel 54. You're in code. Let's go under in there. So you have your input source, which will only be HDMI. 
You'll have your bit rate, which you can set. I'm just going to leave that where it is. Your lactacy. Uh, I think you can, yeah, you, know, you can mess around with that. I'm going to leave it where it's at. Audio format, AC3. I'll leave it at that. Uh, encode, modulate. Standard RF frequency, the standard ATSC, and it allows you to select your frequency here. So you'll enter the channel that it will be on. But you, can, but basically, this will just transmit on that channel, and it will broadcast on whatever channel you say it to scan in as. So the chart is over on ThorBroadcast.com for the frequency that you might want to use for changing the channel. So if you want to put it on a specific channel for, for that. So we'll go back out of here. That was in modulate RF frequency. Uh, modulate standard, which is just, it's going to give you the options for whoop, RF frequency. Go back. Uh, right, see standard. It give you ATSC, a DVBC, ISDB, DVBT, and DVB dash C J dot eight three eight or ATSC I'll just leave it at ATSC your network and there is where you can configure your IP address so you just go there and hit enter again and there's a little dot underneath there if you can see that and you could just in my case it was actually set to two zero but I actually just set it back to one and hit enter and it saved it but for example, is if you have a different type network and you're just having a headache to try to get this thing working, say it's over on zero, I'm just gonna set it back to zero here. And you go escape, it's gonna apply changes. Say yes, and it will reboot into that. And then you'll be able to get um, the frequency set to the way you want and also the IP address. I it's going to flash the status just because I don't have anything plugged in. So there's the IP address. That's the way the IP address will come. Mine, actually, I need a, uh, I need a 1. So I'll just go into the IP address. So go main. Network. And then I go into here. Go enter. And just go one and hit enter back out of there and it'll ask me to save changes say yes enter and it'll reboot the system so i got the ip address set to the right ip address okay say i got it on channel 54 say i want to make it channel two all right i don't know we'll change the channel so we'll go enter go ts config uh encode modulate so go to modulate so First, I got this, yeah, I guess, and the RF frequency. So, change the RF frequency. I think that's like channel two or something like that. Just sort of went down to that. That's fine. But put whatever frequency you want. I don't have the chart offhand, so up one. Encode. Here, I see here. Input source, bit rate, lactacy, audio format, PMT PID, your video PID, your audio PID, PCR PID, your input source. Okay, so there's those are options. We'll go into back out of encode. Uh, TS config. Major channel. Okay, so here's where you go. Major channel, what you want, maybe say. And there's the program name. Let's go back out of there. Program number. TS ID. Minor channel. Minor channel will be one because I'll be like your dot one. Major channel will be, whoop, major channel will be, say you want channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5, whatever. Uh, I'll say channel 3, you know, always video games go to channel 3, right? Exit that. Whoa! Uh, did it do that? 3. There, okay, I hit enter, I, I escaped and I didn't save it. Go out, major channel, go 
Right here. Apply changes. Yes. Saved. And does it need to reboot? No. So that's pretty cool. That's how you can just uh, simply change the channels without having to hook it up to the internet, uh, to the uh, N NMS IP address. Uh, if you do want to go in here, no problem. Just type in this into a web browser, this number here. Whoop. Type that into a web browser and the password by default will be admin or the username will be admin and the password will be admin. And then you just go in and just uh, simply do it with, with a mouse and keyboard. Okay, so I logged into the web interface. I tried doing the top interface, but I just found it really hard to read where if you plug it into your home network, yeah, I just find it way more easier to uh, to set it up. Um, just plug it into a network. Like I don't even have it all set up to go. I'm just setting it up just for its main configuration. So basically I'm greeted to this after I, the password to get in here is admin admin. I did have to change in the interface the um, IP address because it has zero in it. My IP, my local area network is like, it has 168.1.188, which is, this range here is uh, a dynamic or static. This the same always the same IP address. So I'll just switch the modulator. Let's see here. Uh, can I change this? Yeah. So I'm gonna go to ATSC. And it's gonna start at channel 57. I actually want to make it on channel 8 VHF, just 183. So there's a chart here on Thor Broadcast where if you want a list of ATSC channels, what number. So in this case, I'm gonna put it on channel 8 for the demonstration purposes of this video, 183. So I'm just going to put it in here at frequency 183, 183, there we go. RF, add, and I'm going to leave all this the same. Uh, it should be program name. Here we go. You could just, it was like TFHD1 by default. T-H-O-R-I-R. This would be the Thor IR. And I'll call it 2 because it's my second modulator. Um, and all this, I'm going to leave the same. So we got that. I'll apply there just the name is good input source is hdmi which is the only source it has has the bit rate at 19 that's fine um modulate i didn't it remembers what i did okay shows the ip address uh the password if you want to change it default it is admin admin uh, if you want to update the firmware uh you can download that and uh get get it all do a factory reset all right so i got the hdmi which is this, I just for this source, I'm just using this, uh, <laughs> oh, am I burning myself? This very handy uh, digital satellite meter, but it has an HDMI output, so it's like just something very easy to do. It's throwing out this uh, description, this um, uh, channel information stuff, and it's going through there. And just to show you the lactose of this, here, I'll hold that there, we'll go back. And uh, what's another menu? I can go into menu, there's a the menu there. And go into the, you know what I like? I'll just show you like the good old spectrum analyzer. So, uh, so I got this thing here, spectrum analyzer, going in the background. I'm not gonna see anything because it's not hooked up to an LME, but. So just to display what this thing will do, it'll take your video HDMI source and put it to this coax cable and send it to a TV. So to show you, an example of what would happen here is when you have your TV set in a different room and then this device will have a little light which will control our power uh, the power will control with this so there's the little LED light on the remote extender and you don't have to run that if you're not running that it will just uh, do that but it is going to send power through your system so this is definitely I think maybe if you want to do this with a direct connection correct me if I'm wrong I, I'm we have the RF out for this, and you have two RF outs. You have one for the uh, power pass through uh, for the uh, remote extender. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please give this video a like and some kind words in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to all my social media and click on the bell to get notified when new videos are available. If you found these videos helpful or just enjoy them for the entertainment, please consider supporting this video work either with Patreon, PayPal Donate, there is a link in the description of this video. Or you can click on the heart-shaped thanks button on this video and send funds to support these videos through there.